Well, good evening, everybody. Um, it's bedtime. I'm rubbing my back. I've got so much pain in my back. It's driving me absolutely crackers. Um, I've got two morphine patches on. Um, and my son brought me these, which I haven't used yet. I probably will do. I think they're... Um, I've got nothing, no animal um, secretions in them. And they're called um, dragon balm patches, herbal dragon balm patches. There's three of them in that package. Um, I don't know how much they are because my son gave them to me. Um, I took one out to have a look at it. Um, and it's just like, it's that size and it's got, little perforations on it, so I've, I've thrown that one away because I spilled some tea on it. <laughs> but um, I might use them and let you know how they go. For my back, it's absolutely killing me today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, the other thing I know, where am I looking? I know that um, people have been trying to contact me today. Um, I was getting so crazy, I had to go out, needed to get out the house. Sunday is the one day I don't go to see Alfie. Um, he gets overcrowded, you know. So I decided to uh, have a ride up to Alfie's sister's. Um, she's only sort of 15 minutes from me. Um, and had a chat, just sat and had a chat there, and um, I've got... How's that for temptation? Um, one kilogram of Mega Mix. And now I have no... None of the legals like that. Look. Um, they'll be going for Alfred. Not, not the whole box, I shall take them in little containers a few at a time otherwise they'll be depleted very quickly so that was nice of us to send them so there's them there's my patches there's this drink and it's apple um, rhubarb and beetroot and it's lovely It is nice. I could drink that like I would drink a glass of water, but um, I'd be running to the loo, I think. I'm looking the wrong way again. What's wrong with me? Um, I'd be running to the loo again so um, all night, so I won't have more than a glass of that. What I wanted to say also is I saw today that... Um, the protest has been organised um, against animal testing um, at Nottingham University. Now, I used to go to Nottingham regularly to listen to the jazz, etc. So, um, I would be inclined to go to that um, if I felt okay. And it's on the 27th of February. Oh, I haven't written the time down. But I think it's 5 o'clock until 7 o'clock. Something like that. So that's Nottingham. Nottingham University um, in the UK. Against animal testing. 27th of February. And I think it starts at 5 o'clock. But you'll need to check the times. Also, in um, I went to Luxembourg a few a few years ago to an animal rights conference, and it was fantastic. The people I met there and friends that I met up with, um, Dr. Steve Best, and and um, who I'd had a lot to do with email wise and and Facebook wise and etc. But he was there and he was one of the speakers and um, 
it was fabulous. There was workshops, um, speakers from all over the world and well worth going to. The Animal Rights Conference, um, International Animal Rights Conference, IARC, but it's got the same name as the Research for Cancer, International Animal Research for Cancer. Maybe they, they need to change their uh, title. But anyway, the Animal Rights Conference is going to be in September, the 5th to the 8th of September. Um, of course, it's going to be touching on all sorts of subjects to do with the animals. Um, and particularly my hatred and loathing of vivisection and animal experimentation. There's going to be workshops and presentations and, you know, networking and um, all the food is provided at the conference site. You can go there from your hotel, um, a local hotel, you know, walking distance and just... Um, get your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, decent wine and uh, it's very relaxing and it's very well worth going to if you can. So that's the Animal Rights I I IARC, International Animal Rights Conference on the 5th to the 8th of September. You'll need to get all the paraphernalia and um, locate which hotel you stay in. I can't remember the one I stayed in. It was basic, but it was fine. It was okay. Now, those of you who aren't aware of... It, this isn't all about vivisection, by the way. It's about anything. It's about the beagles who were um, liberated from that place in Italy. Um, a couple of the beagles were there. They were actually liberated. They were going to be experimented on. Um, but, you know, that was spoiled. Um, it isn't going to be all about vivisection, but vivisection is something that hurts me deeply. And I'm going to read you this. I would normally say, but this probably says it better than I ever could. Vivisection is the practice of animal experimentation. This can include administration of drugs, infecting with diseases, poisoning for toxic toxicity testing, brain damaging, maiming, blinding and other painful invasive procedures. It can and often does include protocols that cause severe suffering, such as long-term isolation, full body restraints, electric shocks, withholding of food and water, or repeatedly breeding and separating infants from their mothers. Vivisection is a global travesty. When, from the 18th century or even before, the same procedures, the same testing, the blinding, the maiming, which has been done on live animals without sedation. When that's been done over a couple of hundred years, surely they would realise that air testing is useless. And of course they do. But it's all about the money. The government give big research grants to universities and laboratories to continue with that travesty and that useless testing. It's been proven that no animal testing, none, 
is predictive for human conditions. Um, I suggest those of you who aren't au fait with what goes on in the animal liberation world and what goes on with the terrible suffering that's inflicted on our animals. I suggest that you read or start to read some books by um, Ray and Jean Geek. <laughs> G E E K. Both Ray and Jean used to be vivisectionists and they realised very quickly how useless the research was and if you like they changed sides and many liberation many people involved in liberation now are people who used to work in laboratories and whose conscience pricked them because they saw the, the suffering caused for absolutely no reason other than the research grants. I'll give you just one little example. The polio vaccine. That vaccine was tested, widely tested, on animals. And was shown to be harmful. Therefore, it sat on a shelf because it wasn't going to be used for human beings. Eventually, testing was done out, done and um, on human beings, I believe, and the vaccine was found to be marvellous in helping alleviate and rid humanity of that disease. There's so many drugs that hurt the animals. And therefore, we don't get them. They're probably drugs that would help. There's so many drugs that are tested on animals that are shown to be safe for human beings. It's been proven time and again that that isn't true. Look at the... Um, thalidomide scandal in the late 50s, early 60s, where thalidomide was told to the public that it was perfectly safe for pregnant women to help alleviate the symptoms of morning sickness. So thalidomide was widely prescribed Thank the Lord it was off the shelf before I started my family with Alfie. The women who took thalidomide had children. I don't like the word deformed. They had children who were physically challenged without fingers, without arms, without legs in some in instances. A lot of them very, very bright, but with all these physical restraints. That drug, the scientists were adamant, was safe. Clearly proven that it was not. So, animal testing is not predictive in human beings, not ever. It's all done for the money, 
with research grants. It's um, a complete and utter disgrace. It's a stain on the soul, the collective soul of humanity. If anybody in the UK can get to the Nottingham Con Conference, that would be great. 27th of February, 5 till 7. I may go, I'll see. If not, there'll be, co there'll be other protests. Um, I don't have the details to hand at the moment, but anybody interested in going and maybe coming to Birmingham um, would be very welcome to come here, um, if necessary, you know, I can put one or two people up, um, and we'll go from there, and then as I said, the conference in Luxembourg, on the, what did I say, September the, the 5th to the 8th, so, I would suggest going on the 4th. Uh, when I went, I actually went on the day the conference started and with the um, the travelling, the, the plane and the um, problems at the airport, I didn't get there till dinner time, evening meal time. So I, was, uh, so I missed that day really. Um, so I would suggest going the day before, going on the 4th of September. It ends on the 8th, so I would plan, if I were going, to go on the 4th and come back on the 9th, thereby all the um, presentations and um, the workshops and everything will be... Um, over and done with and it's a good place a brilliant place to network with other animal liberation people so if you're not involved and you would like to be involved do it you know um join some groups think about what particular area you would like to focus on if there is a particular area you'd like to focus on and you'll find in the groups that are on Facebook there's a lot of them um, and a lot of people who are very willing to help you um, you know even it doesn't have to be climbing the fences um, or anything such as that but it can be um, fostering dogs or cats or even smaller animals. It can be just listening and educating yourself properly and spreading the word. I know when I first started my Facebook, YouTube videos, um, I... Um, there was I can't remember exactly what it was now, but there was something going on, and it was to do with vivisection, and it was very upsetting. And I thought, you know, it needs to get out. People need to see this. So, in the description, I think of my video, or it might have been the first comment and pinned, I put a link to um, a certain animal that was being experimented on and all the details. And I did say, I did forewarn people and say um, what the video was about, obviously, they knew that. And I did say that this link, if you are sensitive then you may be upset and I suggest you don't click on it. And a gentleman did click on it and he contacted me 
and said, I'm sorry, I've got to unfriend you. And I said, well, you know, can I ask why? Um, why and why you would click on a link when I'd already said it could be disturbing. And he said, I just don't want to see things like that. I'm all for um, helping animals and donating to shelters, etc. But I don't want to see that. I can understand that people don't want to see certain things. I understand perfectly. Don't click on it. But I also say that closing one's eyes to the horrors that are going on, it's like a holocaust to the animals. And closing one's eyes to that fact doesn't really help anyone and doesn't make it go away. I'm not saying we're all the same. I'm not criticising for anybody who can't watch videos or read about the horrors. Do what you can do. And if you can't do that, that's fine, but do what you can do. And please don't criticise others who are trying to get the message out there. So, pyjamas, no makeup. I've had my shower. <laughs> this is me, oh natural. Um, criticise, criticise. And the ones who are criticising me, how silly. One said, um, I only make videos because I want the money, because I want to be monetised. I'm not monetised. I could be, but I'm not. What? <laughs> it was never in my intention to become monetised. It was share, to share Alfie and my journey. And also, what I'm doing now to spread the word. Um, I want my channel to be sharing what's going on with Alf, who's doing well at the moment, and sharing how I cope, which is very difficult at times, can tell you. Sharing a little about my family, not so much that they be annoyed, of course, because they're very private people. All of them work. All of them have animals. All of them are happy to be involved in animal rights. Um, so that's what my channel is about. I'm actually sick of people saying it's for the money. I'm not monetised. No intention of becoming monetised. But I will say that maybe... If I get to 1,500 subscribers, I will become monetised. And then that money will go to help towards my going to these conferences, which is very costly, and to um, donate towards the groups that are actually actively doing something about how the animals are treated. So that's where my money would go if I was monetised. But I'm not at the moment, with no real intention to be. Um, and I saw that a person said that um, I'm telling people to go after a certain woman. Don't be so ridiculous. If anything, you lot are coming after me. I don't have aliases. My name isn't um, Alison, or what, whatever her name is. Um, you're saying I'm all these people. I've got two channels. This one, well, I've got one channel, this one. And then there's a channel that my granddaughter set up, really for a granddad, 
um, to put stuff that he likes on there. Um, and I've put, because I'd be doing the uploading, etc. So I put Alfie's name, and but I've put my name alongside. So those are the only channels that I'm involved with. I don't go under false names. I don't um, trash people and be very um, brave behind a keyboard um, when not even giving your own name or the country you come from, but you're saying you're coming after me. I just think if people want my, want my opinion about you, the tampon person and the other Chrissy person I just think you're idiots um, you have no filter and you have no inner judge to guide you in regard to the proper manner of behaving so just carry on with your singing. It doesn't affect me at all. Um, I think it's. I think it's pathetic. Um, but you know, do what you want to do. Anybody comes knocking on my door, like one of you threatened, they'll be arrested for trespass simple as that um but as i say um any conferences that anybody's going to when they're arranged roundabouts where i live um any friends who are interested please contact me um and if you need somewhere to stay overnight then you would be welcome to stay here. Um, I don't cook breakfast. You have to make dairy coffee and toast <laughs> and make it yourself. Okay, I didn't mean to go on for this long on the video. I'm sorry. Can you hear my candles? I've got my candles going there. Um, the room looks lovely. It smells even better. So I'll be back in the week I know that uh, what I started to say oh tired what I started to say was my phone's been um, ringing while I've been out I know and I didn't check any messages um, I know my uh, solicitor has been trying to contact me um, and there's a telephone conference tomorrow that I've got to be here for 10 till 1. So that's going to be fun. Um, and I think she's left me a whole load of messages on my phone. So I won't be getting to see Alfie tomorrow, I don't think. Um, I'll just be glad when all this legal business that I'm involved in is completed there'll be a weight on my shoulders it really will anyhow i'll be back have a wonderful night everybody god bless and please say a little prayer for my poorly back because i'm really not joking it is very painful at the moment I'll speak to you in the week bye bye